A Muslim woman from Grand Rapids is planning on suing the Kent County Sheriff's Office after she was forced to remove her hijab during a mug shot and had her hijabless photo publicized. News 8's Amanda Porter has this story and the response from the Sheriff's Office, all new at 6. A staff attorney through CARE Michigan says her client, Jana Hag, a Muslim woman, was arrested for a domestic violence incident at her home on April 8th. Uh, initially, a female officer had indicated that she could be her um, religious head covering hijab, sort of like what I'm wearing on for the booking photo. However, a male officer, which was in the room, had told the female officer to make her remove her hijab. Amy Ducare and court documents say Hag identified herself as a practicing Muslim woman wearing the hijab as part of her religious beliefs. And the officer indicated to her it didn't matter, she had to take it off. Um, so they proceeded to have her remove her hijab and they took another photo without her hijab. Hag was released from the Kent County Jail without charges. In the Muslim religion, head coverings are very important. It becomes a part of you, it becomes a part of your identity. And when you're without it in front of other people, you you feel naked, you feel exposed. The Kent County Sheriff's Office responded, writing, quote, as she was being processed into the jail, our female corrections officer took her out of view of all male officers and inmates and asked her to remove the head covering to inspect it for weapons or other restricted material. And then she was allowed to put it back on before entering the booking area. At the end of the booking process, it is required by law to take a photograph of the arrestee. When this photograph was taken, our female corrections officer ensured that no male officers or inmates were able to view Ms. Hag without the head covering. Ducare maintains her client's rights were violated. So we're hoping to resolve it by providing training, um, hopefully modifying their policy because we don't believe that their policy really goes far enough because it does allow for the photographing of women without their hijab. Amanda Porter, News 8.